Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this is Anada, also known as the April Zen. Today I'll be reading for let's do fire signs, all right? Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell to keep track when I'm making more videos to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below, all right? Fire signs. Okay, so we have KB. I remember KB Toys. Okay, so KB Toys could be very significant to someone. Um, someone's coming back. Somebody could be working on their stomach, their abs. We have Q and Z. Somebody could be quizzing you. I think RX is prescription, if I'm not mistaken. I think RX, the acronym for prescription is RX. Is it? I think it is. Racks. I'm hearing racks on racks on racks. Somebody may be going to a bar tonight. Somebody is barking. They're barking for answers. Okay, someone's barking for answers so they could be coming to you to quiz you or ask you something. Someone feels jinxed. Oh, we got deep today. They got me deep in this motherfucker. I'm here for it. Okay, why are they barking at them? Why are they trying to get... What are they quizzing them for is what I should ask. Okay, I heard you use tarot. What are... They... Okay, for healing. So somebody wants the answer so they can move forward and heal. Like they, they're sick and tired of all the secrecy, the uh, the um, the quietness. And they're trying to figure out like what they can figure out from the situation. So someone is like barking, trying to receive some kind of information. So they're quizzing someone or they're asking questions, okay? Someone is coming off very uncaring though with the King of Cups. They don't care. They don't care that you ask questions. They don't want to ask. They don't want to answer any questions um, that you may have, okay? So we have someone here that's in the Queen of Cups energy. Um, and then we have the Nine of Swords. So Queen of Cups is very caring, emotionally mature. Um, so yeah, someone's asking for answers, but barking or trying to get answers, bark quiz, but someone's very uncaring and they just, you know, just don't care. They're not in their water energy. Okay. Um, someone is extremely regretful, could be extremely for regretful for the conversation. Okay. Um, ah, because they jammed themselves up. They got stuck. Yep, somebody got stuck. Yep, so right now they're trying to make a decision as to how to move forward because they are indeed stuck right now. But <laughs> what's funny is that the spider created the web. <laughs> and normally, spiders create web for food, right? But as you can see, there's no food there. So this tells me that this person created their own demise. That's what this tells me here. It's not an ounce of food on it on it at all nowhere on this there's no food on here this person got jammed up in their own web their own web as you can see here <laughs> i've never noticed that now you know well you may not know every spider is completely different when a spider uh, webs its web the web is intricate. It's never, ever the same. So it's always a different creative design, right? But even though the designs are different and creative, when they are making the same web, it's the same in that particular design. So meaning the patterns are going to be the same, right? But if you look closely here, you can see that the, the lines of the spider web is like distorted. It's not connecting properly, 
right? It's not connecting properly. It's like really quick and fast done in a very quick way. Okay. It's not elaborate. It's not well taken care of, or it's not well um, thought out. It's not methodical, right? It's just really quick and put together. But this person put themselves in that web because they were rushing to do something. So caution is needed here. Cautions is needed here because balance will be restored. <laughs> Someone is now able to create inner harmony because they have reclaimed their mind. Absolutely. Absolutely. Somebody may have Tourette's. Somebody may have Tourette's. Yep, somebody is holding back because they don't want to answer any questions. They don't want to answer any questions. But like I said, they put their foot in their mouth with the spider web here. Okay. And they're trying to hold back because they just, you know, at the time they didn't care. <laughs> but I'm not telling you anything. Okay. Well, now you lost opportunity. You don't want to say anything. You lost opportunity. Like I said, they placed themselves in this, in this layer, their own spider web. So now they lost opportunity. They may have lost funds. They may be insecure because of it. They, they're really, they're really, really, really truly regretting themselves with the nine of swords in reverse here. They're really, they're really, um, they are in extreme regret. Yeah, heartbreak, three of swords. They were in the nine of swords and then three of swords. And I feel like because they're not, they want to argue with you. Okay. Yep. Cha. And the plot. Thickens. That's the name of the title. Mm. I keep hearing Ekans. Y'all remember that from um <sighs> Pokemon? Ekans was a snake. Yeah, Ekans. If you've ever watched Pokemon, Pokemon was a Japanese cartoon or anime. I don't know, whatever, but it was a Japanese little something, okay? That used to come on the 90s, right? And what I've noticed, because, well, anyway, I'm not going to do it. But what I've noticed about Pokemon is that that particular Pokemon or that animal really has that particular characteristic. Like, for instance, the snake sounds like a snake. So his, even though his name is Ekins. Oh, snake. It's snake in, in reverse, child. Oh, wait. That's symbolic. Ekins, E-C-K-A-N-S. That's how, that's how the snake. I think Ekins belong to Meow or more so uh, the, the Double Trouble, uh, the guy and the girl. I can't think of their name right now, but they always together with that little cat. And they had that snake Ekins. But now that I'm listening to it, Ekans literally is just snake backwards. So that was, that's a snake. So someone is doing things or convoluting things in a way where they, they're not coming off as a snake. That's where the caution is needed. That is where the caution is needed because like I said, they are stuck in their own web, their own lair. Now they're heartbroken because of it. Yeah. Spiritism. That's it. And this is going to be community com in a very community, communicative way, or more so. Um, everyone is going to be aware of this. This is community value. This is this is like somebody is like they they keep up with the Joneses, and as you can see, they they want to be looked at as a certain way. They want people to perceive them in a certain way. But if you look here with the Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles is money, okay? It's, it, it's charitable, yes, it's charitable, but they do things for a front, okay? Do this for a front. Look at the clouds and the sun and look at the eyes. It's closed. But this person may be happy doing this, but it's for a reason. It's not like out of love. It's not pure. It's not genuine. It's for a reason because we have clouds here that shine to hide the sun, so their intentions are not pure. Yeah. 
Yeah. Your intentions are not, not pure. Somebody is upset about traditions. Somebody wants something done a certain way. They are very traditional. And hey, that's cool. If you want to be traditional, then you, you, only you, solely you, singly you, you be traditional. You don't have any rights to tell anyone else how they should live or do anything. If you want to be traditional, you be traditional. But let other people get to decide what they want to do for themselves. Because you have no say in that, period. Um, so it's causing a lot of arguments because of the, you know, the traditional thing. Someone maybe wanted to rebel or do things differently or look at it from a different approach. And they ain't, they, they, they ain't liking it. They're like, I'm not with this. I'm not with this. So because you are different and you're asking for answers, you know, there's something better here. And what's something better is abundance. You ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> You know, your health is going to be improving, recovery, and um, more so health is like mental health, emotional health is going to be recovering. And you move forward. Yeah, but you have every right to ask questions, okay? Within the next few months here, this may take place if it has not already. All right? You have every right to ask questions. All right, I see no. So no romance. So someone may not have any romance here, but big happy changes are coming. Okay. Oh, they don't want you to have romance. They want you to be in isolation. Yeah, they don't want you to have no type of energy whatsoever. And they, they're very crafty with it too. They're very crafty, very creative with the way that they do things to stop your growth. And they're very determined about it too. Very, very, very determined to stop your growth. Yep, they don't want you to be in the flow of love at all. They don't want you to trust yourself either. They don't. Yep, diabolical. And this is what's being illuminated. They may even try to hurt you. Physically try to hurt you. And they weren't going to put a stop to it at all. They weren't. Mmm, jail. Who are these rough niggas? Cancer. Taurus, uh, Gemini, no, no, sorry, Aquarius, Aquarius, here's Gemini, <laughs> Leo, Libra, oops, Libra, watch my thumb. So, if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, fire signs, peace.